good morning friends uh, today we are going to learn what is the difference between loop and mesh so these are the some basic terms which are used in basic electrical engineering and specifically for electrical circuits so as you see here i have written down the differences so let's start with that point number two instead of point one because it is a definition of loop and mesh so what is loop a loop is an any closed path in a circuit in which no node is encountered more than once right so to explain this let me show you a circuit so if you can see this circuit here we have two batteries and three resistances so which one can be called as a loop is this one so if we start from here two ohms node a four ohm resistance 12 volt battery and then 10 volt battery and I'm closing this so I'm starting from here and ending here so basic thing is it should be a closed path as you can see it should be a closed path and no node should be encountered more than once so here we are just traversing right from here and ending here right so that's why we can say this is a loop so what is mesh then so it says mesh is a loop so basically it is saying mesh is a loop right that has no other loops inside it let me explain so going back to the same circuit here so here if i start from node a 4 ohm resistance to 12 volt battery to node b 3 ohm resistance and again closing here a so again this is a closed loop basically mesh has to be a loop so it is a loop because no node is coming more than once and the second point is very important which has no other loops inside it so do you see any other loops inside this loop no like for the one that we just showed for the loop there are two loops inside it that is not the case in case of a mesh mesh has no other loops inside it similarly even you can consider this as a mesh right so this is what the difference is what is the second point every loop is not a mesh okay every loop is not a mesh but every mesh is a loop let me explain so this circuit can be drawn as a three loops so can you see loop one I have just considered the outer circuit I have not considered the three ohm resistance here so this becomes a loop okay so I am calling that as a loop one now second thing what I am considering I am considering only the left hand side of the circuit so I am just ignoring 4 ohm resistance and 12 volt battery so you can see here I have 2 ohms point A and B or nodes A and B and 10 volt battery so I can call this as a loop 2 or mesh also mesh 1 why mesh because there is nothing inside it you can see so I am considering only the left hand side there is nothing inside or meaning there is no other circuit inside it like these ones for this loop there was these two meshes or two loops inside it so that's why this is loop also and mesh also right similarly I'm cons considering the right hand side portion of it I'm not considering 2 ohm resistance and 10 volt battery here so this is again a mesh because there is no any other inside loop in this so what was the point every loop is not a mesh I will tell you here we have three loops loop one loop two and loop three but every loop is not mesh loop one is not mesh as you can see here because it has other two loops inside it but loop two is a mesh loop three is a mesh so that's the reason we are saying every loop is not a mesh but every mesh is a loop so you can see this is a mesh and this is loop also this is a mesh this is a loop also this is not mesh but this is a loop so that's the difference what is the third difference so loops are used in a more general way for circuit analysis yeah so these are used for doing circuit analysis where you can we generally use Kirchhoff's voltage law current law 
and do the analysis what is the mesh what are the meshes meshes are used to do analyze the planar circuit only so meshes are used uh, for the planar circuits what are planar circuits planar circuits meaning which can be drawn on a 2d or on a plane so we are able to draw on a plane circuit so that is what the difference between loop and mesh uh, please let me know if you have any questions with respect to these differences and if you want to learn anything else about basic circuit theory or electrical engineering please write your comment write your questions feedback in the comment section thank you and have a great day